What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. Phil Adam himself has provided the community an update regarding Intellivision Amico Home. This update was provided to the community by a DM that Phil shared with one person and hasn't spoken publicly about anything for, we're talking, what, over a year now? Hit the subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com. I didn't write an article about this because, I don't know, there's not really much to say. But I did want to go over some of the DMs that were shared with me. The screenshots I'm going to talk about here are from a source that asked me not to say who it's from. But they did say it is to and from Phil. And they didn't want to be named in the conversation. They felt if Phil told them this, that... Phil would be comfortable sharing it with everyone. Phil just has a problem with communication, at least mass communication. But anyways, let's get into these DMs that Phil sent to this person. In regards to Intellivision Home, it is currently being tested and worked on on Phil's NVIDIA Shield. That's a, that's a portable computer. For those of you that aren't familiar with it, it's a, a portable game system that is like a Steam Deck, things like that. That's the NVIDIA Shield, not a phone. Phil said, testing on the Shield this weekend, to which this person replied, very cool, Phil. I imagine if it works a uh, phone, it will work on the Shield. It has the same chip in it as the Switch. And Phil said, it should. I just wanted to be sure. Take care. Phil is very quick to try to end any conversation with everyone. In fact, every time I've tried to reach out to Phil and discuss my interests, hopes, and dreams with the future of the Intellivision Amico, it's always running from a meeting to another meeting, and he's always so busy with traveling, and, and he has no time to chat because he's the CEO of a failing company that stole $18 million from investors. Okay. I'm sure he's very busy, but it continues. Phil replied a few days later, NVIDIA Shield works. To which this person replied, cool, great news. Will give me a reason to use it other than watch Hulu, LOL. He continues a few days later stating, so still no date? You guys haven't given an update since May. Pretty crazy, man. The optics are you guys aren't even a company anymore. Hope it all works out. To which Phil replies, we are finishing closed beta and open next week. Update will accompany with a couple of days of that. I'm going to assume Phil meant to say we are finishing closed beta and will open next week. Update will accompany within a couple of days of that. Meaning that if we are to take Phil at his word here, which is a stretch in its own right, but just bear with me here. If we are to take Phil at his word that this Amico home is now being tested on portable game systems and things like that, that they are going to have an update for the community in the coming week. <laughs> we are finishing closed beta and open next week. Wait, that's such a weird statement. We are finishing closed beta and open next week. What? like open beta next week like other people can test it next week or like you're going to the Intellivision office next week because it's going to be open next week what a what a weird statement but assuming he means open beta next week that means they're going to have it available for other people to try out and test and make sure that Amico Home will work on your personal computer your portable computer your Nvidia Shield your Steam Decks your everywhere else that this is going to work on outside of cell phones. It's just, I don't know. It's such a weird mixed message. Like, why is Phil testing this on an NVIDIA Shield? I thought Amico Home was supposed to be for mobile phones, not PCs. This, this is a very weird mixed message to be getting. But then again, it's in television. And if it wasn't weird, then it wouldn't be in television. Everything about how they are, who they are, what they are, is weird. They're like the Adams family of the gaming industry. Doesn't make sense. It's a smorgasbord of stuff they throw out, and it's really scary results. 
Oh, and I went to the website for this video. And of course, when, every time you go to it, they still try to sell these limited box collector's edition bundles because apparently this is going to be coming out at some point. No, no, they don't. They, they, they just keep trying to sell this. There's no new information. There is no Intellivision console. There's no updates on it whatsoever. And they're still fraudulently selling a game for a console that does not exist and may never exist most likely the way it's going. So yeah, you probably shouldn't be selling games for a console that isn't real. How do I even get back to the home screen? Is this, is this the home? Oh my God, what a mess of a, I'm trying to go back to the Intellivision home screen of their website and you can't do that. If you click on the pop-up to look at these games, you can't go back to the home screen. It, it's on the Shopify account. It literally transports you to a shopping page and there's no home button to get back to the, you cannot get back to it. It's a tiny little word in television down bottom right corner, brings you right back up here. You can't get to it from here. This is ridiculous. You gotta press the back button to get back to intellivision.com. A super professional website, let me tell you guys. And of course this pop-up comes up every single time no matter if you've, if you've seen it and clicked on it before, they didn't remove the cookie for that, but again. So you go on the Intellivision website. Look at this. Fun for everyone. There's, there's the Intellivision Amico that doesn't exist. Here's more information about it. Still nothing about Intellivision Home, which if we are to believe Phil's email from back in May, that they were focused wholly on getting Intellivision Home out the door, don't you think they would update their website and, I don't know, say something about that? Because to me, it seems a little bit disingenuous to redirect and move the goalposts and say, oh, yeah, I know you guys are really looking forward to this cool and television Amico console, but, you know, circumstances have changed. We need to focus on something different to try to bring some money in here, even though we raised $18 million and all these crowdfunding and investor fraudulent stuff that we did with everybody. Doesn't matter. Ignore that. Don't look over there. Focus on this right here. This is the problem we're dealing with. What the hell did they do with all that money, by the way? I can't wait until we find out because sure as hell isn't pouring it into this plastic container that doesn't have anything into it. There's a lot more behind the scenes that we don't know about. And I think ultimately that's what's so intriguing about this Intellivision Amico saga. But regardless of that, Phil sends out an email telling everyone that they're going to shift their focus to Amico Home, which is basically making all these Intellivision Amico games that were exclusive to the Intellivision Amico that, as Tommy said multiple times, were not phone games, were never possible to be played on any other consoles, and would laugh off the idea of playing them on mobile because you needed the console to experience them. They found a way to literally port every single game they were working on to Intellivision Amico Home. Impressive. I think it goes to show yet again that Intellivision lied about their intentions with what they were doing, assuming that Intellivision Amico Home even comes out in the first place. And according to these messages from Phil, they're planning on saying something next week. Potentially. I mean, if you want to read into what he said here, I don't know. Maybe, maybe a week and a half from now we should hear something from Intellivision. But I'm not going to be holding my breath, and I strongly recommend none of you do either. This is who Intellivision is. It's not surprising anymore. In fact, ever since I said it's time to put up or shut up, they've literally shut up and put out nothing. So at least they're listening on that end of things. But at the same time, what is going on behind the scenes over there? Why is there no communication about what they're doing? Why have they not done anything and here's the other thing in television amigo home as i've said multiple times in videos previously is a failure from the start it is not going to be successful it's not going to bring any money into this company they should focus wholly on getting this thing out the door to at least the initial backers and who knows maybe it would be such an intriguing piece that's so hard to get that you might actually create some interest in this ecosystem but there's a lot of issues with that as well. They can't get the whole store to function properly. They can't get the online to function properly. They can't get controllers to sync properly. They can't get anything to function properly. But other than that, pretty good. 
Anyways, those are the updates I got for you guys today. I want to thank the person that sent me this information to bring it to you. And yeah, once again, Phil Adam, working on something that has nothing to do with the Intellivision Amico console, providing another smoke screen for customers and not giving any updates on tangible things that they actually care about. That's Intellivision in a nutshell. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. Smash,